Hi, uh, this is Jocelyn from Jocelyn the Farm Studio, and I'm doing my second video today. Um, this is, um, we're going to be editing this bracelet picture. Uh, this is a photo I took by using focus stacking, and that's a very advanced technique where you're taking multiple photographs um, at different focus points and then stringing them together in Photoshop and making the whole thing in focus. So maybe we'll do that later. But today we're just going to edit this bracelet picture. Um, the other day we did a technique where we used the magic wand tool to select all of this gray area, um, which is great for things that are shot hanging or things that don't have a shadow. This has a shadow, obviously. So I'm going to show you a different, quick, quicker technique that will um, get you a great image for your website. It's not um, the best, most technical, but it will work. Um, and then down the line, there's uh, more advanced techniques using the pen tool. But um, right now, I'm going to show you a way to make a completely pure white background while still having the shadow. So um, again, this is where we're going to end up. But let's start here. Um, so let's say that we start here. We're always going to uh, duplicate the layer just in case we lose information and we need to get it back. Um, and I'm going to adjust the levels. So click this button, go to levels. And um, this slider will lighten the lightest points, the gray or light gray area. Um, this will do your midtones, and then this will do your blackest points. So right now we're going to take this and slide it to the left to lighten up the background. You see it getting lighter. And yes, we are lightening up, you know, this part of it. Um, if you shot your piece and it's uh, overexposed back there, then you run the risk of blowing that out, overexposing it, making it disappear. But um, with a good photograph and everything, you know, having nice edges around it, you should be fine. To overcompensate a little bit, we can take this medium tone slider and slide it to the right to make those mid-tones darker. See how we get that information back. So um, do that eyeball and you can see um, where we started, where we are now. Um, we're not there yet. So we're gonna use the um, F key to go full screen. And again, I set my background preferences to be completely white. Um, that way we can see this edge. And, um, R is my hotkey for dodging the highlights. Um, oops. Highlights, 30%. And I just hit the tab to get those things back. So um, now we're going to, oh, look, nothing's happening. You know why? Because we're not on the right layer. We are stuck. Um, there we go, tab. We're on the levels layer, so nothing is happening. So we have to make sure that we're on the jewelry layer. And let's go full screen again. And then uh, just start kind of blowing away all that grayness. Um, get close to it. The edge of my uh, dodge tool, this circle, is pretty soft. So we can get pretty close to that edge without um, getting a really hard line. So you just keep going around it and see in the middle here, let's make this smaller so that we can kind of touch up in the middle. Um, if you find that it's looking funny and you see a hard edge, just go smaller with your tool, but then go softer with it as well. Okay, I'm at zero, which is the softest, so, um, but I'm, I'm fine with uh, the way that it's kind of getting those edges. Um, let's clean up those little specks right there, the um, spot healing brush tool. And then um, somebody's asking about metal tone. See how back here it's a nice cool silver while this is yellow? Um, the best way that I've found is to actually desaturate it. Um, I've got, this is white. We're on my brush tool, I hit V for brush. Drop down menu, go to saturation. I've got mine at 90%. If you find that that's too much and too harsh, you could drop it down to 
Um, and then you just paint right over that and all that tarnish is gone. Um, I could get nitpicky and go through all of those beads, but I think we're fine. Um, let's go to the full screen again and make sure that everything is looking good. And I say this. So um, there you have it. That's how to get a white background using your levels tool. If you have any questions, let me know. Follow Jocelyn Negron Studio on Instagram. Thanks.